The length of a square is represented by the expression 4x minus 5. Find the area of the square in terms of the x. So in this problem, the two main concepts that will be covered um, is how to find the area of the square and how to multiply two binomials together. So let's first buy, uh, let's first draw a picture of the square. Um, and you can see I attached the, um, I put the, uh, the formula for the area of the square on top. It's just area equals the length of a side times the length of a side, which is side squared. So let's just draw a, a picture of a square. So we're given that the length of the square um, is represented by the expression 4x minus 5. Let's just put 4x minus 5. Now remember um, that a square, um, the length and width of a square are equal to each other. So here's the length, so um, the, the width will also be equal to 4x minus 5. So, so the length is equal to 4x minus 5, and the width is equal to the same thing. Um, so find the area of a square. So looking at the formula um, on top of your screen, area of a square equals side squared a equals s squared. So we're going to um, plug 4x minus 5 into the formula. So we're going to get, I'm going to put this in a different color. How about, uh, let's do purple. Area equals 4x minus 5 minus 5 squared. Now, uh, from here, um, a classic mistake that students might make here is to say that 4x minus 5 squared is the same thing as 4x squared minus 5 squared, or 16x squared minus 25, and that's not the correct answer. Remember that 4x minus 5 squared means the same thing as 4x minus 5 times 4x minus 5. So we really just have two mul uh, two binomials multiplying together. Um, uh, from here, we can uh, do it a couple different ways. It's the same process. Um, I'm going to be using the FOIL method. You could also use double distribution, the same thing. Um, so uh, if we're going to use the FOIL method. Remember, the FOIL method stands for first outer inner and last because we start with the product of the first terms plus the product of the outer plus the product of the inner plus, plus, plus the product of the last terms um so 4x um the uh the product of the first terms 4x times 4x is 16x squared The product of the outer terms, 4x times negative 5, is negative 20x. The product of the inner terms, negative 5 times 4x, is also negative 20x. And the product of the last terms, negative 5 times negative 5, negative times a negative is a positive. So our result is going to be positive 25. Now just uh, clean this up by simplifying. So we have 16x squared. <clears throat> Uh, minus 20x minus 20x simplifies to minus 40x plus 25. So this is going to be the area of our square in terms of x. Now there is a little shortcut um, I will show you. I would recommend um, writing 4x minus, 5, uh, 4x minus 5 squared out as just it's being itself uh, just 4x minus 5 times 4x minus 5. Um, just to have 4x minus 5 multiplied by itself. But there is a shortcut. Um, if you're comfortable enough with um, knowing how to use the FOIL method, there is actually a quick shortcut that I will show you. When you have forks, when you have a binomial squared, I'm going to write this over here. Um, so I'm just going to call it trick. So this is a cool trick to know. Um, you don't have to use it. Um, it just makes it a little bit faster if you choose to do it. For When you have a binomial squared, any binomial squared, when you're squaring it, just square the first term to get the first term. So 4x uh, squared is just 16x squared. Then multiply these two numbers inside the binomial, 4x times negative 5 to get negative 20x, and then double it to get negative 40x. And then negative 5 squared is 25, and square the last term to get 25. You see, we get the same answer, it's just a little shortcut. So. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a message below. Thanks.